Hey guys, Riley Spanish here, and this is part four of my playthrough of Crystal Legacy. It's a ROM hack of Pokemon Crystal, uh, made by the YouTuber Smith Plays Pokemon. He does a lot more like Nuzlocke heavy stuff, but he made a pretty balanced version of Crystal. Um, with a lot of quality of life improvements and in the previous episode just went through Whitney who definitely had a uh, um, a pretty solid team with the addition of a Teddy Ursa um, just a couple changes there that made it slightly harder I did fail my first attempt on her trying to switch train my ghastly um, I do have a theme going in this playthrough of Attack on Titan characters, except for Heracross, because I knew I would forget to nickname someone sooner or later. Uh, I don't remember where the name raider was in this game. Is Okay, it is this guy, so let's see. Now we can finally make Heracross match the rest of the team, but I haven't decided which AOT character I wanted Heracross to be. Um, let's see. I think that Heracross... Now Heracross gets to be Levi. There we go. Both god tier in their respective uh, mediums. Levi Ackerman and Heracross. Alright, on to the next route here. Route 35, I have to go up and interact with the uh, pseudo wudo tree and then talk to um, the flower shop girl's sister. She'll go back, then I'll go back, get the squirt bottle. Then come back up here, basically, and move the pseudo wudo. I will try to catch it, just because I always tend to do that. Um, because there's only one of them in the game, even though I never use it. I always like to just catch one in case I decide to, like, go for a Pokedex playthrough or something like that. I don't tend to do that that often with a you know, a game where I can't import anything into Pokemon Home, like a ROM hack, but um, still might be fun to do if I so choose. I don't know if all 251 Pokemon are available in this, but I know that the Gen 1 starters are catchable later in the game, and um, what was I going to say? I, I don't know about the uh, legendary birds or anything like that, though, but the Celebi event has been added to this ROM pack, so catching Celebi is possible in this, which is pretty cool. I don't know what Magmar has, but I have a feeling... Yep. That is just fine, though. This guy had two Magmars in the vanilla version as well, which felt a little... Uh, OP back in the day. It is nice to play a somewhat somewhat of a difficulty hack of this game. It's not it's definitely not hard. Um, but like not to the extreme degree of Crystal Kaizo, which I've played many times, but when I play through Crystal Kaizo, it's like I've gotta reset and retry areas so many times. Um, and even to a certain point, you really can't over-level because everything is just level 100 once you get to, uh, Claire. So all of, like, the post-game areas are, you know, over level 100. I think that I'm not gonna bank on getting the, uh, roaming legendary dogs, probably, and that is the only reason for me to keep Mean Look, so I am gonna learn over Mean Look. And uh, I can always catch, like, a Golbat or something, a Crobat later, and get Mean Look on that. This guy's going to have a Growlithe, uh, which will have Bite, so I will switch over to Larvitar and a Houndor. Both weak to Rock, get them dealt with. The bug catcher over here. 
the wild Pokemon actually scale and level pretty well. Um, seeing, uh, what was that, like a level 15 Growlithe over here. Alright, that was a failure. Ghastly just dies a little too easy. There's a new sprite for uh, the Persian there. That's cool. Normally it's just like the generic uh, party sprite. There's new party sprites in this too. It all looks really, really good. I'll fight all the uh, National Park trainers on my second pass through here. It is not a bug catching contest day right now, it is Monday, and if, uh, if you're a person who is watching all of these videos and, you know, wondering why I don't change my clothes, that is because I am filming a bunch of this all on the same night. So I started it tonight, I don't know how far I'm going to go tonight, but I'm thinking, uh, least this one and maybe one more episode but we'll see okay so she's going back to get the squirt bottle we'll fight this guy too Abra can't do anything except use flash Kadabra can be pretty deadly but not in this case go back down this way There is a bird keeper here. I don't think that he actually... Oh, he does. I was going to say, I don't think that he actually, like, gets the exclamation part and walks towards you, but I was incorrect. I may be thinking about a, a different version of Crystal. Does this area have a hidden item? I feel like this is a place where there should be one, but there isn't. to the flower shop, get the squirt bottle. You can do all of, all of that before you uh, beat Whitney, but in order to get the squirt bottle, you have to have beat Whitney. So there's not really a point in going uh, all the way up there first necessarily, unless you need like the levels from the trainers or something. Now I'll go through the uh, National Park Trainers, and then we'll be on to Ecritique City, which has um, the Burn Tower, it has the Kimono Girls, which means I'll get Surf. I do not have a Water type on my team yet, though, and, um, and the fourth gym with Morty. Murkrow is uh, another one that you actually weren't able to get until the Kanto post game in um, vanilla Gen 2 either. Am I going to get rocked by this snubble? I guess so. I do wonder can I PC heal? Ghastly was not the one that got knocked out. Who got knocked out? Was it Larvitar? Yes. Does that heal him? It does. Alright. I thought so. That is not something you can do in later gens, but in early gens you can just deposit and withdraw Pokemon to um, heal them automatically. So it it's a little slower than a Pokemon Center, but it accomplishes the same result. I think that after this episode, I might have to do some off-screen grinding, depending on what the levels are looking like, because everything is uh, getting to a much higher level at this point. But it really just kind of depends. 
Cubone is not a uh, fight I'm going to win with Bone Club. Not with Ghastly, at least. This is pre-Levitate. Raichu. Don't love the paralysis, but ended up not mattering. Do I have a paralyzed cure? I sure do. Sunflora. Not much you can do to make it uh, that much better. Just even if you increase its base stats, it doesn't have a ton of great moves, and just a pure grass type is not the best. Let's get in here and get this item. Gold Leaf. What does that do? I don't even know if that was something you could get in the vanilla version of this game. TM for Dig. That might be useful in Morty's gym, depending on if his team is still a bunch of the Ghastly line. I'm assuming uh, he got a Misdreavus in this version. Hidden Full Heal. It's pretty much like one of everybody's gripes is that the Gen 2 gym leaders didn't use Gen 2 Pokemon. And, uh, yeah, there's really no excuse for Morty to have not had a Mysterious in the vanilla version of this game. It just makes no sense to not give him that. Alright, time for the pseudo Wudo, And my plan is to just try to put it to sleep. Maybe take a little HP. That smog did absolutely nothing. What a nightshade. There we go. And one more lick. Hypnosis again. And let's try to catch it. Second ball. Not bad. And this guy will give me Rock Smash. Don't know if the um, power of that's been increased or adjusted at all. It's normally a pretty bad move to be honest but it is a fighting type stab move for Heracross now so we will definitely take that I don't remember what the twins here use we'll just lead with Ghastly any anyways I'm afraid that's gonna have some crazy move that causes uh, fury swipes Rock Smash. It was a one-hit KO. I'm not sure what that says about um, its power, but not bad at all. I think it is time I take the EXP share off of Heracross. Give it back to Ghastly because it's... I have faith in having a Gengar on the team later, but I also... Let's see... A strange gold-colored leaf that does not tell me what it does at all. We will have Ghastly be the uh, one gaining the second-hand EXP, just because it is not doing the best right now. He has got a Stantler, which can be a tough Pokemon, but one-hit KO for Heracross. And again, right there. If that's all that's here, that's actually really good EXP. I could just clear a bunch of these out with Heracross and just change out who has the EXP share. These give a good amount of XP, though. Eh. Spinarak's not great. If that is a flying move, it will kill me instantly with Heracross. Alright, three in a row. I think I might have just... I was going to say, I might have got lucky finding that many Stantlers, but it does seem to have a pretty high encounter rate. This is definitely not the normal set of encounters here, I don't think. Ariados. It did not give a lot of XP, actually, for being a second stage Pokemon. Don't even want to mess with Noctowl. 
A lot of times it has a psychic type move, if it has a flying type move, none of that Heracross can handle well, so. Hopefully get another Stantler here. And what level is Ghastly at? Ghastly is at level 24 now, so one more level till I have a Haunter. There's Bill talking about the time capsule, which obviously we cannot use in this because it is a ROM hack, but well, let's see. I know a lot of the stores have been changed. Let's see if this guy sells anything different. Does not look like it. Do the uh, kimono girls now, though. I never remember exactly who has what because their um, their kimonos don't necessarily match the color of what they have. Like the green one has flary on there. Pin missile. That was a one hit. Got haunter now. So now let's. Once again, take the EXP share away and give it to Larvitar. Larvitar doesn't evolve until level 30. Heracross is just so powerful. Like, it's gonna... Even when it has a disadvantage, it's usually pretty solid. Once it gets, like, Earthquake and Megahorn, it is just super gnarly. I believe it can learn Rock Slide, too. Like, it gets a ton of coverage. One-shot the Umbreon. What should we do? Maybe Horn Attack? And last Kimono Girl. Get Surf from this guy. And then head to the Burnt Tower. There will be the first meeting with Yusin and a rival battle up there. Where could it be? And here is Morty. He doesn't go back to the gym until you awaken the legendary cats. Let's get a repel. Encounters will get a little cumbersome in here. Oops. HP up. Do the rival battle. I think he leads with uh, Zubat, actually, or Golbat by now. So I want to have a rock type move on deck to deal with that. He leads with Hera, or I'm sorry, with Larvitar. So Heracross would have been the move, but. That was easy enough. Let's go to Heracross for uh, Croconaw. Frozen. Can you dethaw in this game without a fire type move? That was that was not ideal. Got the para off. So now I can at least. And that was obnoxious, honestly. Definitely a lot more competitive. Did not lead with the uh, goal bat that I was hoping for and took out Larvitar. Got the burn off. Love to see that. Definitely tougher than it needed to be, but I like that it's uh, not easy for sure. There they all go. Ooh, Mysterious is available down here, and of course I'm leading Togepi on accident right now. Let's change that. Let's move you to the bottom of the party. 
I'm hoping the Yusin battle on uh, Cyan Wood. Is it Cyan Wood? Um, ooh, auto renew repels. That is a very nice quality of life enhancement. Um, I'm hoping that the battle with him over on the island, though, is uh, updated to be pretty challenging, too, because Yusin definitely doesn't get a ton of development in this story, but it, he does kind of act as like a additional rival to some degree. But I do believe it is time for Morty. Well, Morty's gym. Got that confusion off real quick and immediately took me out. So let's see if I can get the upper hand with Haunter. That was not an ideal first battle in there, that's for sure. I'm assuming Morty still has a Gengar though, and uh, maybe a Haunter too. Use Curse again? Nope, but got away with that one quite a bit easier. Whoops. Did the invisible tiles wrong. And Haunter, so that is a... Oh! He actually lived a bite. Go up here, do the last trainer, see where I'm at health-wise, and maybe... Maybe heal. Hound or... It's cool, not a ghost type, but cool addition. I think I can just... Uh, I might not have any potions now. do not have any potions, so I will go heal real quick. And go for Morty. Hopefully not get uh, clapped on my first attempt like I did with Whitney, but had to kind of learn what she had on that first one to know what I could and couldn't get away with doing. Wasn't so much an issue of uh, my team or anything, it was just how I chose to lead the battle on that one and not knowing uh, what her Teddy Ursa had. So, excited to see what he has and hopefully I can uh, sort out a good way to beat him on my first go through. Stantler. That's an interesting choice. Oh, of course, he switches in the Mistrevis that I cannot hit with Heracross. Let's go with. That's funny. I'm just, I'm really holding out with this metronome. There we go. And now, see if we can, wow. That was fast. All right, got the, uh, I did not mean to stay in. That was a whoopsie. Throw Pseudo Udo in, not an official team member, but Hey, if it can get a dub out of this because I accidentally did not switch into Heracross. There we go. Lost from sleep hacks, but could have been much worse. Let's lead with this and see if I can snag a burn. No burn and barely any HP dealt. Only thing I can hit this with is pen missile and... Dream Eater dealt with me very quickly, and Shadow Ball did the same. Alright, I definitely need to regroup before I do that one. Maybe do some training in the Burnt Tower, or in uh, the cave here. What is this one called? I always forget. Mount Mortar. Who am I leading with? Yeah, what level do I want to get everybody to? Goal battle be a good uh, XP yield, hopefully. Not bad. That is going to have a water type move. Don't want to deal with that. Maybe just like level 27 will be good.
I definitely think Larvitar is, uh, one of the more important elements of that battle, for sure. I wish it had Crunch instead of Bite, of course, that would make it a little easier, but... Let's see if I can get, uh, one more level. I think 27 is fair, though. Um, Gengar's level 25, but it outspeeds everything I have. That's that's the only real problem with it. Maybe. I don't know if, even if I got my Haunter to, like, level 30 or something, I don't think it would outspeed his Gengar. That's one of the main issues with it. Alright. Larvitar is level 27 now. Let's... Move the EXP share to Haunter. And then get a little hair across. See if the, uh, no. Looks to be the same encounters in here, probably. But we've got Geo dudes to fight. And the barrels. Ooh, Rhyhorn. That might be slightly better EXP. Of course, I'm splitting the EXP now while I train hair across. 26. Just want to get a uh, Haunter to level 27 as well. Not too concerned about Heracross's level, um, but maybe 25 for both Heracross and Quilava. Quilava's probably not going to be a huge help in it, but. Maybe I can get a burn off or something uh, before I get the Hypnosis Dream Eater combo. That's the problem. You can't really do any chip damage to the Gengar because as soon as it gets something to sleep, it's going to heal off of you with Dream Eater. Level 25 on Heracross. Let's do the same thing on Palava. Not on Merrill's, please. Let's go back out here where the Golbats were more plentiful. The worst thing about uh, the starters in this game, though, is they just get such a poor move pool. Like. Quilava just doesn't really get anything good at all, to be honest. At least not for quite a while. Like, Ember being the best fire-type move until, I want to say, like, in the 40s or something, it might get, like, Flame Wheel or something like that, but it really does not get a great move set. I don't think this is going to be the best place to train Quilava. I might move to the, uh... Burnt Tower to get that last level and a half that I want out of this quick little grind session. And then do Attempt 2 on Morty. Slugma. Yeah, I've been talking about Crystal Kaizo a couple times throughout this, but, like, the difficulty curve in Kaizo is just so ridiculous. Like, here in the Burnt Tower, there's, like, level 40 Macargos as, like, the... Ooh, Flame Wheel already. I thought it was much later. I will definitely take that. And then... Let's... Let's just go for it right now. I don't think that level 24 to level 25 is going to make a huge difference. Just heal one more time. See if I can deal with this a little more efficiently in attempt number two. Oops. See if I can make it through the floor tile puzzle first. And let's lead with Larvitar again.
Nice. No damage. I keep thinking I need to stay in on Stantler, stupidly. One shot. Miss Drevis. I just want to maybe chip some damage away, because Heracross can't do anything at all to Gengar. And then... Can I outspeed? Yes, but it has a Miracle Berry and knocked me out the first turn, and that was not ideal. Okay, but I do... I avoided the Hypnosis, got Dream eater again. Can you clutch it up with a... Nope. That was a lot closer, though. I don't think it's a... Uh... A level issue at this point. I did even have pretty good luck that Gengar is just so fast. Do attempt three. Same batting order, but I need to properly switch in. Um, yes, I will change Pokemon. Switch in on Stantler. That way I have Togepi as a pivot later. Let's do the same thing and pin Missile to Mistrevis. I don't really have a better use for Heracross right now. Gengar. Um, it's got that Miracle Berry, but... Yeah, maybe I should just lick it and hope for the Paralysis. Paralysis would have cut its speed at least. Miss a Hypnosis? Nope. No such luck. Ooh, but I only need to get one hit in. Oop, I used Headbutt. Are you kidding me? See, this is just bad playing. Metronome, Ice Beam. And Belly Drum. See, I totally had this one in the bag, and I just was being too hasty and pressing buttons like a madman. That is my fault, but if I wake up Aaron... Got the Dream Eater off again twice. Okay, that time was completely my fault. I was doing much better and just totally messed it up. Which is unfortunate. Don't love to admit that, but yeah, I totally messed that one up myself. I think getting through the first three Pokemon is fairly straightforward and simple. I don't love that he did a Nightshade that time, because that did cause me to uh, actually lose some HP on Haunter, but let's do the pin missile strat again and that was a very favorable uh, multi-hit run there Let's see if I can get a single bite off first all right and then if a lick knocks it out that's great I don't know how much HP it has I don't know if 28 from a nightshade is enough so I think lick is the better move and there it is just had to play it a little bit better that time. And now I have Shadow Ball, which I can teach to Haunter. I guess I didn't even think to teach Dig, but it really wasn't a viable strategy to teach Dig to something. And uh, because nothing that can learn Dig would have um, outsped the Gengar anyway, so it didn't really matter. I did not mean to forget Hypnosis. That was... I am pushing buttons way too fast. Well, let's just hope that that doesn't uh, come back to bite me, not knowing Hypnosis. I'm sure there will be a chance for me to get it again anyways. I'm not too worried about it. I didn't plan on doing Dream Eater strats anyways, but... Yep, that is just uh, me using this Xbox controller when its feedback is way more sensitive than what I'm used to. 
Um, anyways, though, that'll be the end of uh, part four. I am really liking what the team is looking like. Obviously, Togepi and Sudowoodo are not permanent team members by any means, but they are still around. And uh, hopefully the um, next area I can get... I'm trying to take... Hopefully the next area I can get a um, Chinchu or Lantern, because that is the last team member that I'm really hoping to get for this. And then I'll have another slot, and I'm completely unsure on what I want to go in there, but probably going to be another water type, probably Gyarados, but I am undecided. I actually did read that Gyarados can learn fly in this hack, so um, I think Gyarados being a flyer as well as an additional water type that can learn waterfall and stuff will probably be the move. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing. Stay tuned for uh, part five, and sorry that this one was a little frustrating trying to sort out that whole Morty business. Anyways, thank you. See you next time.